Hi, everybody. I'm Seth Hunter from Intel Labs. Hi, everybody. I'm Carlos. I'm with Intel Labs, and I'm with Seth in the Open Design team. Today, we'd like to show you how to hook up your Galileo board to your computer and how to program in the Arduino IDE. Uh, and this should accompany Tutorial Zero on the Learning Center. And this will give you a sense of the components that you would like to have with the Arduino board and how to write programs on the Arduino board and download them uh, onto the Galileo environment. Yeah, by the end of the day, what we're going to do is we're going to show you a couple, where to get the code for really simple examples. We're going to help you build a little circuit and just get up and running. Yeah, so we'll give you a tour of the Arduino IDE, uh, a sense of the, some of the syntax that you would need to know in order to program in the Arduino IDE, and some of the examples that you can use um, to learn more about what you can do with Galileo. So just to start with, when you, when you get the Galileo box, um, you'll unbox it and you'll get the board itself and then a power cable here. But there's a lot of other things that we think are important to have around your lab uh, so that you can interface with the board. You'll need this um, cable here to connect the board to your computer. Um, the SD card is, will allow you to download the full version of the, the Linux, um, the full version of Linux for the board. Uh, and this micro USB to USB adapter is so that you can plug in standard USB plugs. Um, I also have here a, a little Wi-Fi card, a Centrino Wi-Fi card. This is $20. I got it on eBay. Um, and then I also have the antenna. It's important to note that the antenna, even having two antennas, um, really gives you a much better signal. And it, I wasn't able to get it to work with my home Wi-Fi until I had the antenna. Now, I also use this um, serial debugging cable a lot to um, just look at what's happening on the Linux console. And so this is a, um, a serial to USB adapter. It has a little chip in there, so you need a driver for this cable. There's many different kinds out there. And then this is um, a, a DB9 to serial cable, which is kind of unusual. So that's not an audio jack there on the board. It's actually a serial debugging cable. So let's just start by plugging in the board. I'm going to plug it in here. When you plug in the, the USB plug, you want to plug it into the USB client, not the USB host. USB host is for keyboards, mice, game controllers. And I usually wait till I see the, the USB light come on on the Galileo here. That means it's gone through the boot sequence. Um, so once I plug it in, I plug the other side of the USB um, plug into my computer. And I usually like to go to the device manager to see if um, my computer has recognized the Galileo. I open up the device manager and I go to ports, COM, and LPT. And it looks like it just showed up on COM 14 on my computer. So I've already installed the drivers on my computer, but um, when you first uh, install it, it's going to show up with a different name. It's going to say Gadget Serial version 2.4 under COM and LPT. And that means that you need to install the drivers uh, specific to the Galileo. We'll start by, um, let's just go to the website where the, the Galileo drivers are located. Um, there's zip files, one for each operating system. And the zip file for Windows is the one I downloaded because I'm running Windows 7 here. Um, and when you download that file, what you'll get is a folder called Arduino 1.5.3. And inside there, you have the drivers, you have the programming environment itself, um, and a bunch of other resources available for you. So I just want to um, show you how you would um, install those drivers. I go to Ports, Common LPT, and then I right click on, um, on the device, and you would choose uh, Update Driver Software. Um, and then instead of searching automatically, you would browse your computer for the software. So let me show you where that is on your computer. So Hardware, Arduino, x86, Tools. So this file right here is the driver. This has setup information that will link the drivers to your system that will allow it to communicate via serial to the board. So once you get those installed, you should have on your screen what I see here, Galileo COM14. And that means that when you open the Arduino environment, you'll be able to see it. Um, I installed the Arduino environment on the root of my computer. So you can see here this folder, Arduino 1.5.3. But one thing to note is that the sketches um, don't show up in, inside that folder. So when you create new sketches, they show up under My Documents Arduino. So these are all the sketches that I've written for the um, Galileo. And um, if you're using it, other versions of the Arduino environment, um, the one that comes with Galileo is called 1.5.3. And it's uh, the same Arduino IDE, except uh, Intel has uh, provided um, 
software to make it specific to the x86 architecture. So as soon as you install your drivers, the next thing you want to do is you want to download the latest version of your firmware. Now to do that, you want to go off and start your IDE. Now find help on the menu, go down to the bottom and you're going to find firmware update. This is really important because every certain how often we're going to add some extra functionalities including um, support for Linux and many other things. So you definitely want to have the latest version. Click on firmware and then just go ahead and say yes to proceed. So once you click OK, make sure not to unplug your board because it can take up to five minutes to update. And at the end, you'll see a confirmation that it's finished updating. In part two, we're going to look at the Arduino IDE and learn how to program on the board.